name of Jesus. Um, this is Lady P once again um, and welcome to Woman Crush Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for all the likes, the encouragement and the prayers. They really, 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 really are helping and I feel encouraged and I appreciate all of you. So today, um, in the last weeks we have been talking about grooming and, um, and how we handle ourselves as women. But today, I just want to shift it a little bit and um, just do a short sharing from the Word of God to encourage someone. I want to talk about faith today. This word has been compelled. I'm compelled to say this word. It has been impressed in my heart for a couple of days. And um, I feel that somebody needs to be encouraged just as I have been encouraged. We are going to be talking about a man called Abraham in the word of God. Um, Abraham was a friend of God. Abraham was a covenant partner of God. But when we look at Abraham, he was aged and he was old. And his wife was barren. They didn't have a child of their own. But we see God telling Abraham that he's going to bless them with a son. And not only was he going to bless them with the son, but he was going to make him a father of many nations. So, but we see that Abraham was the friend of God, but it was difficult for him to believe that word. So, Abram, before his name was changed, it was Abra, Abram. Before he was, his name was changed to Abraham. So, God said, how do I deal with with Abraham because he is hearing the word but it is difficult for him to believe. I want to encourage someone today to say that you yes you are a child of God but there are some situations that are making you somehow to doubt the power of God. But today I want to encourage you to say that Abraham's name was changed to Abraham so that he can declare it every day with his mouth to say that he is a father of many nations. So today, somebody's story, somebody's name needs to be changed. There's a time where you feel that a certain situation or a certain circumstance is now a permanent situation in your life. But I want to tell somebody to say, there is no situation that is permanent. No faith is the substance of things hoped for and not seen. So whatever you are seeing today, whatever difficulty you are facing today, it's not a permanent situation. Because God says that the substance of things hoped for. So what you are not seeing today, you need to speak it into life. Abraham's name was changed so that he can declare it with his mouth to say that I am a father of many nations. And he eventually received his a promise. So today I want to encourage someone to say that, yes, you are going through a difficult time, but we are children of God that have to live by faith. You know, the word of God says, the things of God, they are foolishness to them that perish. But to us who believe, it is the power of God. So when you doubt the power of God in your life, what God are you serving? We are not like those from the world. We are the children of God. So speak the word of God. You know, it might sound crazy. It might sound like it's, it's something that cannot happen. But if we speak the word of God, it will come to life. 
We are not of the world. We are of the kingdom of God. And we need to do things by the principles of the kingdom of God so that his power will be made manifest. Amen. So today, what I want us to do is to say, yes, you are depressed. But today, God wants to change your name to impressed. You know, you have been feeling low, but continue to confess that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Many of us are looking for jobs. Some are looking for children. Some are looking for marriages. Some want their finances to change, you know. But today, the word is saying that. Speak the things that are not as though they are. Bring them into life. Let it be foolishness to people that hear you say, how are you today? And they see you have nothing, but they say that it is well. That is the power of faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. So today I want to encourage someone to say, God wants to change your story. God wants to partner with you. God wants to give you a new name so that you can fulfill your heart's desires. You know, do not be quiet. Do not be quiet. Speak the word of God. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Fill your heart with the word of God so that whatever comes out from your mouth, it is the life and the power of God. You know, the enemy is happy to see some people depressed and sad because that's his mission. He has come to steal, to kill and to destroy. You know, he has come to depress us. He has come to tell us all the negative things. But God has come that you might have life and life in abundance. But if you do not believe that word, it will not come to pass. Let us not be foolish like those that perish. We are the children of God. The word of God, it is the power of God unto them that believe. So today be encouraged to say what you see now is not what you are going to be. What you have gone through, what the past has tormented you, what the present might be saying, it's not where you are going. Only believe the word of God. I love the word of God because it says that time and chance happens to them all. So if you believe in Christ, time and chance, it will get to you. Whatever you desire, whatever you wish, your child, your marriage, your job, your finances, they shall be sorted only if you put your faith into practice. Remember, faith is the substance of things hoped for and not seen. So you might not be seeing it now, but if you speak it into being, you have the power to create. You are a God. You have the power to bring things that are not as though they are. So do not be quiet. Make the word of God your friend. Make the Bible your friend. If you do not know what to say, search for the verses that go along with your current situation. If you are sick, look for the verses that speak about sickness. And you declare those verses and you will bring the word of God into life. It is the substance of things hoped for and not seen. So we do not live by sight. We do not live by what we see, but we live by faith as the children of God. So do not be discouraged because of what you see, but take a step. Give yourself a challenge. The task that we're going to have today is to say, I want to speak things into life. I am a God. I am a child of God. God wants to partner with you so that he can fulfill his word. So do not think that it is impossible because you serve a well-able God. And if God is able, so are you. So today, partner with the Lord, partner with Jesus in whatever you desire, partner with him and speak it into life. He is there, you know, he is the ever-present help. You know, he is the all-knowing God. He can even destroy and create the world today but he wants you to speak it speak into life what you desire and it shall be well with you do not be uh, uh, convinced that what you are going through now is going to be permanent but if you believe your situation will change so today somebody be encouraged to say 
the Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my peace. The Lord can do what is impossible in the eyes of men because he is the all-powerful and the all loving God. So God bless you. And thank you so much for joining me today. This is the encouragement that I have for somebody to say that your story is changing. Your name is changing. Only believe and confess it with your mouth. So thank you so much for joining me. Until we meet again next week, be blessed. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. God bless you and see you again next week. Amen. Come on, let's sing it out in